Hello everybody, welcome back to Back Out of the Case, this is Skyflight44, aka Sex44, and today I'm going to continue to play some more Lord of the Rings, Two Towers, and the Game Boy Advance. We're getting ridiculously close to finishing this game. Really just Gap Rohan, I think, Helm's Deep after that, and then, you know, only really a little bit more than that. Ooh, fine elven Lorca. That's great. Oh, shit. I'm really liking that. My speed is... Oh, that's so great. It, if you didn't notice, I really like it when the game gives me speed. Especially with Ligolas because you can get in and out of a fight real easy. We're also going to need to get rid of this. Pick that up. One accuracy, three defense, and five shield block. Holy crap. I'm getting ridiculously lucky. Okay, one more. Kill you. I've been getting some real nice stuff. Granted, that really isn't, you know, like, super absolutely amazing, but compared to having five, she uh, you know, shield block, which we need with Legolas, um, just being able to get everything we need, plus the uh, one accuracy and three defense, which are also all the things Legolas needs badly, uh, how can you say no? I know we have to go that way, we just need to heal up a little bit. Which I have been putting a lot of points into. Trying to uh, increase my health. Just so that we have enough... We can tank a few hits. Because if we can't tank a few hits, we're kind of screwed in the long run. I just need to take you out a little bit. Oh, you... No, no. Him. Good. Oh, it was two over there. Uh, short bow and... I have to see what's under there. Mithril. Ah, oh, we're definitely taking that. Mithril Parham. Another two melee armor. Oh, is that worth it? We are... If we had the dragon scale fine ring mail on, we would be completely... impenetrable. Though, at the same time, can't say that because, well... of the, um... We... really... We had amazing... Defense, amazing melee defense. Yeah, at the same time, we had trouble with dying quite a bit. And I think that was with Frodo. Which was annoying. Oh, well. That's over with. I don't know if we actually died yet with Legolas. I don't really remember if he died earlier or not. It has been a while. You're piss easy. Ooh, and I guess I've killed over a thousand enemies. Very possible. And we also leveled up sometime. Okay. Now I'm seeing it. I, I was looking at the spirit points not moving when I was bringing up the strength. Stupid me. Okay, now let's see. We got two points. What are we going to be putting them in? We could do this, and it will increase the uh, damage. Could do that to get that up quicker. 
Uh, increases bow damage just straight out. Uh, is there anything else that could be good? This needs to have four levels before it actually shoots another arrow. Not worth it. Uh, that's interesting. If we actually put this, you know, another two of these, it has a chance of knocking back. Uh, well, I'll have another 10% chance of knocking back enemies. Hmm. What was this again? Yeah, that was a critical shot. We only really need one in it. Uh... You wanna know what? I think I'm going with... Hawkeye. Cause I'll increase our damage... By two. Straight out. If it wasn't that, I was probably just going to increase my, um, uh, what was it called? I would have increased my, uh, damn, what was it called? Um, that massive, you know, bow ability, my active ability for that. If not, I really would do my speed, but then again, I have that fine elven Lorica. Which is awesome. Yeah, where are we going? There's something down there. Guess we didn't need to actually go up here in general. Or we should have went this way. They do so much damage together. But so little damage when you actually get them alone. Oh. What's with me getting all these staves? Oh well. Nothing we actually have to bother ourselves with. That does a lot of damage too. Oh well. Gonna have to just sit here for a little while. I do think that the Legolas and Aragorn playthroughs generally go on the longest just because of their level at the very end of it. Or that's just how I... Or that just might be my perception screwing with me. But oh well. It's fine. If you do kind of want to... Uh, okay. Damn it. Okay, fine. He got up right at the same exact position I was. That's what I'm guessing it is, what the programming was. I couldn't go up, I couldn't go down, I couldn't do anything. Because... Oh, that would have been interesting earlier in the game. Heavy cloak, cool. That's something I'd want. But uh, I couldn't move anywhere. Damn. Now I'm gonna have to get rid of stuff for this. Don't have any more nice spear points. Maybe I should actually increase that. Now, what did I just pick up? Okay, interesting. Horsehair cape. Absolute rubbish. Oh, shit. Now I'm back down to having no health. Uh, this is how the legless gameplay goes sometimes. You just have to sit around to go and recover all your health. But that's where the challenge comes in. At least they uh, attempt to change completely how the Legolas campaign or the Legolas run goes on. Damn it. Okay, let's go and, uh, yeah. you... Oh, that didn't give a shit. I'm not going up against one of those red guys this. 
Uh, one more. That's fine. Huh. What kind of bow is that? It's all white. Recurved bow. I think we have one of those. I know that there's a dynasty bow in uh, the Return of the King, which is actually more powerful than the recurved bow. They actually have a lot more item uh, pictures, item icons, in the Return of the King. As you can probably tell, I really do like the Return of the King compared to this game. Going and playing that game after I was playing this one, and then going back to this. This one is basic. Very basic. Yeah, sometimes remote... Oh, no, not that. Uh, Joy to Key uh, doesn't work all that well with my controller. My controller doesn't want to respond to my inputs. I was pressing something, but it wasn't actually making me move. Right there again. Uh, that could uh, potentially get me killed. So I'm not really liking that. Okay, now we can wait a little bit. But... Ah, uh, damn. Maybe I really should go and put some uh, more points into the health regeneration. Uh, what are you? Do you have some kind of... It's like he has some kind of, uh, light refraction field or something on. Damn it. Okay. Ooh, nice. That's definitely something I want. No, hit this guy first, you idiot. Uh, who said elves had to be bright? Okay, 39 gems. I guess it was worth it. I should be able to go straight through the middle. I remember doing this with uh, Aragorn or... Yeah, I can go straight through. I remember doing this with Aragorn. Maybe it was with Eowyn that I had a shitload of trouble. But I did have a lot of trouble going and doing this once. It doesn't seem as if people can really do much damage to me anymore. Except when they have a lot of them close to me. Except for the wargs. But then again, those are wargs. I would expect them to do a lot of damage. And they're doing a lot less than uh, in other playthroughs I had. It's probably just because of my amazing health. Ah, nice. And you're dead. Let's just finish you off before we do any more. Now, let's see. One more to there. And what's that? what should we go for? Should we go for any more? Yeah, we can actually get some more damage. But... I think we're gonna want courage. We have been using that a lot. I have been running out of spirit points now. And I really do like using that move. It's pretty useful, especially when I go against some of those wargs and shit. Ah, oh, damn. Uh, right behind the scale mail, more gems. Oh, I'm gonna have to get rid of one of these. I'm just gonna leave without my uh, nice little gems. Okay, gonna have to go around all of this. At some point, there's going to be a nice area for me to continue in. Oh shit. Hoping it wasn't gonna bring me to wargs. Though, it, it's definitely one thing I remember specifically it's just not being able to hit things and things hitting me for so much damage that's what I'll forever remember 
and uh, my memories as a child for this game anyway. Orange bow, what is this going to be? Okay, Horn of Boromir. Um, is this... Increases experience points earned by 10%. That's... I... That's a good, really, really good item to go and get. I was not expecting that. So I can probably sell that for a lot of money. Uh, nothing up there. Oh well, I can just go up to the next screen. And now we're in Helm's Deep. And there's wolves. Yeah, yeah, let me in. Hey, Gimli, where the hell were you? Why weren't you helping me? At least you're more useful in the Return of the King. They're all more useful in the Return of the King. They actually do stuff. Now, I remember in this one map. Well, the entire Pelennor field in general was bad, real bad. Do I have to go in here? No. I uh, was really bad when it came to... Ah, uh, I have to go and take out all you now. It was really, really bad with uh, that kind of shit. You have uh, Gimli or Aragorn. Uh, I think you might have them, but two, both of them. Same time, one area. Uh, right when you get off the Corsair boat. And then going into Pelennor Fields, there's one area you don't have either of them. And you notice it, because you die frequently there, if you're not careful. And then you get them again, or you get at least one of them, and suddenly with, you know, you not being the center of attention, you actually can do stuff again. You can actually not die so often. It doesn't really help so much. Okay, let's get rid of you. Another Numenorian cape. Well, I guess that one was a mantle. Well, let's get rid of you. Pick that up, yes. And we got all our nice shit. Though, if I actually do level up again, I'm going for accuracy. We're gonna need the accuracy. Eh, I can't go down that way just yet. The accuracy is always, you know, that has always been my go-to stat if I can't really feel as if I need anything else. But you can stun lock enemies. As long as you can always go in and get a head in, you can stun lock enemies. Therefore, that is something you should be going for as, a numer as much as you can anyway. With all the Numenorian equipment we're getting. But oh well. I guess Numenorian equipment gives you... Uh, what? One courage or what would be one health? Or both. Because if it's the... Uh, if it's going to be the... Uh, what was it called? If it's going to be fine, it's it's going to give you the 1 plus to whatever you're supposed to be doing with it. Uh, so, you know, for armor, it's going to be melee armor. For um, your helm, it's going to be more critical armor. For your uh, weapons, it's going to be... I think it can actually get it for a weapon. Um... It'll be a little bit more damage. That's what fine does. That health definitely didn't come from it. And the uh, courage, because I think I did see something else. Definitely didn't come from it either. Okay, we're waiting. We're waiting. We have to wait. Uh, I don't want to die here. 
and that will be lucky if I don't get it at least up above that white thing, that white little shine. Okay. And with that, we can continue on. They blew up the wall! Yep. Let's go kill some Murakai. And I die! Thanks, dude. And I swear I actually had some health. I'm gonna let some people come out. There should be uh, a forge around here or a shrine or something. Granted, I could just be misremembering and only thinking about the Return of the King's uh, bonus map for Helm's Deep. There was actual uh, forges and shit here that I could sell my stuff at. Okay, come on. Oh. Now they have these guys. These annoying fuckers. I hate the guys with the shields. I think th those were the guys that pissed me off the end of the Frodo one. However, it was definitely different shield guys. But there were also shield guys in the Return of the King that were just fucking annoying. Uh, I guess I still have to go and kill some people here. Thought that, uh... I thought that Rumbly would have, uh, you know, been plot progression. But I guess we need to have another Rumbly. Is that good enough? Yeah, there's a shitload more people down here. Where the hell did you come from? Oh, maybe they came down from another wall or something. How did you specifically get here? Aragorn, aren't you gonna tell me something? Or do I need another freaking plot progression earthquake? Need to have three of those, apparently. Seriously, why won't you... Oh, well. Hopefully I can actually level up or something to get my health up. Okay, I'm going back to Aragorn. If you don't tell me anything, I'm going to be severely pissed. Okay, come on. I need some health, too. Same time, I'm... Oh, this game's getting to me. I'm going batshit insane, aren't I? Okay, you still won't talk to me. And you're not gonna help. Oh, okay. Uh, just do that. You're helping in my head, at least. Obviously, this can't be the normal Aragorn I know. Now we can leave. Oh well, I'm going to be saving the end of the game for the next part. See ya everybody, until next time.